Hi, my name is Kai Wan. Today I'm going to do a quick unbox about this Aperture F10 Fresnel for the Aperture 600D Pro and also compare it with the 2X Fresnel for the old 300D Mark II. Because we cannot put the 2X Fresnel onto the Aperture 600D Pro, but we can put the F10 Fresnel onto the 300D Mark II. So I'm pretty curious about the brightness difference and the light quality. And we are going to find out is it worth it to put an F10 Fresnel on the 300D Mark II, or it's just a waste of money. Okay, so the F10 for now is huge. Okay, so we have some manuals and aperture stickers. Okay, and this is the F10 for now. This is huge, man. This is bigger than my face. I just want to quickly show you the brightness when you put F10 Fresnel on a 600D Pro. Okay, so this is 0.1 brightness and this is the full brightness bare bulb 600D Pro. 0.1% at flawed position. 0.1% at spot position. How about full power? Wait a minute, we have some light leaks at the back of this fixture. 10 meter, 100% at spot position. 10 meter, 100% at flawed position. Wait a minute, this is just too crazy at spot position 100% look at this Although I just turned the ISO to 3200 but look at this I I lit up a mountain What the heck? This is just kind of crazy man <laughs> Yeah, the brightness is pretty impressive, but we have lots of light leaks around the F10 Fresnel and behind the F10 Fresnel. So if you're used to the 2X Fresnel with zero light leaks, and this F10 Fresnel will kind of disappoint you. So this is at flawed position, and we have lots of light coming out from the glass and just spill all over the place. And this is at spot position, even more spill light coming out from the front element. Those spill light will create some dual shadow effect, become kind of two light source effect. You have two different shadows if the object is out of the light beam. Yep, so if you want to block those spill light, you need to buy the aperture barn doors. So you need to buy more stuff from aperture. Yeah, so next test, we're going to put the F10 Fresnel onto the 300D Mark II and compare it with the 2X Fresnel. Two different Fresnel with two different sizes. So I think there will be some kind of brightness difference. So let's check it out. This 300D Mark II is three meters away from the wall and this is 100% spot position 2X Fresnel. An F10 Fresnel spot position. 2x Fresnel flawed position. F10 Fresnel flawed position. So the F10 Fresnel on the 300D Mark II is slightly brighter than the 2x Fresnel on the 300D Mark II, but the size and weight difference are dramatic. Let's take a closer look at the light quality between the 2X Fresnel and F10 Fresnel and then we can make a conclusion. F10 Fresnel, spot position. 2X Fresnel, spot position. F10 Fresnel, flawed position. 2X Fresnel, flawed position. So F10 Fresnel on the 300D Mark II, we have more punch at the spot position and we have better fall off, creamy shadow, but I just think it's not worth it to put it on 300D Mark II. If you want F10 Fresnel, you must put it on a 600D Pro. It just make no sense to use the F10 Fresnel with 300D Mark II because more weight, more size, you cannot fit it in your 300D Mark II bag and you need to use more energy to block those spill lights. So I don't recommend to put the F10 Fresnel on the 300D or the 120D. It's just not worth it. The 2X Fresnel is good enough. By the way, we have a shoulder strap for the F10 Fresnel bag so you can carry around easier. So this video is kind of like F10 Fresnel first impression. This is not a review and also the F10 Fresnel comparison with the 2X Fresnel. So this is end of this video. If you like this video, press like, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more video like this, check out this playlist. My name is Kaiwan and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.